Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back. Here we are in downtown Dublin. 41 Skyview is presented by Clover Health. It is going to be a pretty calm night considering it was a little bit breezy out there earlier today. 50 degrees. Right now, that's one of the cooler spots around the region. Calm winds. In fact, a lot of spots are only expected to get down to the upper 40s, low 50s. So kind of amusing that Dublin's already there. Uh, either Dublin's going to A, end up being the cold spot or one of them or B. Uh, the forecast numbers for tonight could end up being wrong, a.k.a. we end up getting a little cooler than expected. We actually got down to 38 degrees earlier this morning in Macon. So, uh, Dejan, that's why you were cold out the door is it was 38 degrees. All right, and we got freeze watches up in effect in uh, the Midwest right now. It's going to remain pretty pleasant for us through tomorrow, though cloud cover is going to start to return. See, here are the overnight lows. You're seeing a lot of these upper 40s, mid to upper 40s. Uh, Eastman, 46, expect to be a cool spot. Dublin, 48. But Dublin already at 50. I mean, unless it levels off, so I just think it's going to get lower than that. But we'll see how things pan out. Well, I'm sorry, expecting to be Millersville and Sparta down to about 50 degrees. So as we move forward, we are definitely seeing a pattern shift. All right, cloud cover starts to return tomorrow. Largely serious clouds, so it should still be pretty pleasant. It's in the low 80s. It will be a pretty cloudy and gloomy day on Wednesday, but the rain likely not to arrive until we get into Wednesday night with the heaviest rain heading into Thursday morning and potentially staying into Thursday afternoon before things maybe get a little nicer late Thursday, but I am expecting a second small round of rain on Friday. So let's go ahead and get a closer look. Winds are going to be out of the southwest overnight, continue to feed more moisture into our atmosphere. Not a whole lot of wind though, but notice how that cloud cover starts to creep in as we head into tomorrow morning. Now these are thin. There should be some sun that gets through most of the day, allowing us to get into those low 80s. But then as we go through tomorrow night, that cloud cover is most certainly going to thicken. By the way, tomorrow will also be a little breezy again as well. So from the southwest, Wednesday will not. That wind's going to be pretty variable. Uh, largely actually will come out of the north throughout the afternoon. Could see a couple shower chances during the afternoon, but the bulk of the rain not arriving until late with the heavy rain coming in through the overnight hours and into Thursday morning. It's going to be great sleeping weather. It is not going to be fun to get up Thursday morning and have out the door in that, and it's going to be messy. You're going to want to make sure to have that rain gear. Now the rain totals have updated from earlier. I do like these a little better because they're lower. However, the rain is not over at this point. Flash flooding is still potentially a concern. However, the good news about this is, is it will help to fend off drought conditions. We'll take a look at your extended forecast in 10 seconds.